A pair of local holiday fundraising drives have fallen short of their goals. After tallying up the donations, the Shelter House and the Salvation Army found that they had missed their targets, bringing in less than they had hoped for. Lee Noonan has the story. Shelter House had set a goal of $220,000 for their Share the Warmth campaign. They've raised $199,000 so far, about 11% short of the goal. Executive Director Cal Rankin says he's grateful for the generosity shown by Thunder Bay residents so far, but he hopes there's still a little bit of money out there. Uh, that money translates into our ability to provide beds and food for uh, the homeless population as well as the at-risk population. The m amount of food that we uh, distribute is really quite f f phenomenal. You know, in a month we pr provide almost 20,000 units of food service. That includes hot meals to our residents as well as to the community, um, as well as snacks and, and sandwiches. So, I mean, there certainly is a demand for that. The provision of that type of food allows people to stay in their homes, maybe pay their rent. That 220000 would account for nearly 10% of this year's operating budget, and donations to the Gift of Warmth campaign can still be made through the Shelter House website. Meanwhile, the Christmas Kettles campaign brought in about $256,000 for the Salvation Army. That's only 4,000 shy of their $260,000 goal and Gary Ferguson, executive director of the Salvation Army Journey to Life Center in Thunder Bay, says he's ecstatic. We had a couple days with the snowstorm that had a little bit of an impact on us and uh, that, that did show in the kettles. But again, uh, really impressed with the community and the help that Thunder Bay always gives us. Again, you know, we know that people, it's been a harder time this year with increases and uh, a 5 to 8% cost of living increase. And for people to reach into their pockets and give, we're truly, truly grateful. Ferguson says the funds account for about 30% of their total budget and will go towards a variety of programs throughout the year. Both Ferguson and Rankin acknowledge that donors have been feeling squeezed this year. I, I know that we have more people seeking our, our services in ter terms of food, food and shelter, so I, I think that would speak to the, the fact that there's probably a lot of people out there that are, are hurting uh, a bit for cash. Yeah. Lee Noonan, TBT News.